Hey y'all, so this is just going to be a guide to the Out of Bounds route for level 4-6 for the birds in uh, Ratatouille PSP. Um, this is going to be entirely based on the route that Ghost Age and W came up with for this level, so full credits to Ghost for the route. I have made a few tweaks here and there just to make it a bit more consistent and safe in my experience, but once again, almost entirely Ghost route, so full credit to Ghost. So come down the slide as normal. First things first, make sure you grab this checkpoint at the bottom of the slide. If you don't grab this checkpoint, it's very easy to die during the out of bounds jump. And if you don't get collect this checkpoint, when that happens, you'll respawn at the beginning of the level at the top of the slide and have to come back down the slide again. So just make sure you grab this checkpoint and come around here. Um, you'll see that there's actually a bit of missing ceiling here where there's a gap between the wall and the ceiling. And you can actually just directly jump up through this gap and land out of bounds. So this is by far the easiest method of getting out of bounds in any level in this game that I've found or that we've found so far. Um, if you're interested in messing around with out of bounds and not a PSP, but you're struggling with the other methods to do it, um, this is by far the easiest way to do it. Anybody who's played a platformer before can get it within a few tries. All you have to do is run into this corner, jump, and then move backwards so you land in the gutter here. So you'll land in this weird gutter thing. Um, you're going to want to stay to the left side because there's a lot of death warps and such on the right side, so just stick to the left and run along it. Uh, eventually, you're going to want to start moving to the left and trying to clip through, and you will eventually. You're going to land on an invisible floor in this alleyway here. Uh, just run directly through this wall on the right. Don't try to be cute and uh, like walk on a straight line because you can accidentally down warp on the window, so just walk straight through the wall and then turn right and run along these windows here. So just keep running until you get to the edge of this yellowish wall here, so the corner here. Then once you get here, um, all you're going to want to do is run out to the right till you down warp, then turn in this direction, run forward till you hit an invisible wall, inch to the right until Rummy starts doing this weird glitchy walk thing, then walk down until you get to this um, weird dark post thing here. Um, turn a bit to the left and start trying for spider remy. Wait a little bit before you start jumping, because if you start jumping right away, you might hit this se seam in the ceiling above you and accidentally up warp. So just wait two seconds and then start. So there's spider remy. Um, then what you're going to want to do is turn immediately behind you, maybe in like this direction or so. It's not precise, but basically what we're going to want to do is there's an invisible wall in this direction that we're going to want to spider remy up. Um, the wall actually extends very far. It's very far in that direction as well. But if you climb down in that direction, um, it's very easy to accidentally soft lock yourself at the top of the wall, um, and get in a state where you actually can't move. So my advice is just immediately turn to the, um, this direction and just immediately climb up the wall. So just walk forward to hit the wall, climb up, spam jump a bit to move up and then move this way. Once you get to the side of this wall, you should be returned to normal jumping as, excuse me, normal walking as so. Then come here. Um, so once you get here, come underneath this windowsill here. Um, and you do want to be careful. Um, if you approach this windowsill from the front rather than the side, you'll accidentally up warp yourself. Um, that can be fixed. You just have to go back to the, go back that way until you up. So let's say for instance, I approach the window from the front again, I'll up warp like so. Um, if that happens, all you have to do is just walk back this way until you down warp again and come back. So it's not run killing or anything, but it is annoying, so just be aware of it. So wait till your camera fixes itself. Just fix, line your camera up like this. Uh, walk straight out and try to get a spider remy. So there's a spider remy. Um, spider remy up this wall. So you get to the top, you'll have to jump a little bit because there's that weird lip on the wall there. That'll clear your spider remy, but we'll get it back. Um, then we're going to want to run, run along the ceiling. Make sure you don't fall in the gap here, because if you do, you'll clip back in bounds, which is not what we want to do. Run to this corner until you see that wall in front of you change like that. Once you see that little weird thing sticking up in this wall in front of you, you're good to go. Run back the way you came. There should be a vent that spawns in front of you once you get close enough. Here it is. Make sure you don't miss this jump as well, because if you do, you're kind of soft locked because you end up too low to jump up back on the vents and I haven't found a way to up or down warp from there. It might be possible, but just be careful. Thankfully, it's a pretty easy jump, so it's not too scary, but just be careful about it. So then you're just going to want to run right here or so and back the way you came. This green bit should spawn in. Um, then run on the other side of this seam here. So 
If you just run straight off the vent in this direction, you'll get like an ugly down warp. And it'll just be difficult to deal with. So let me actually try. So if you run like all the way on this side, there's a lot of treacherous down warps and such in this section. Basically, you just you want to avoid the seam between this, this green floor and the vent here as much as possible because there's a lot of treacherous down warps here. So my advice is just swing it out, be extra safe, go to the right here. You should slow fall and then take a wide turn. Make sure you don't go underneath the seam. Make sure you're well beneath the, um, the green floor here. Um, and then just walk underneath once again. Make sure you avoid the edges of this floor. Just stay directly underneath it. Come underneath this step. Um, get a spider remy. So you can see I have one there. The spider remy is kind of annoying just because the shadow is almost flat to the camera. So it's difficult to see when you have it. But you can see that tiny little line there. That means I have spider remy. But it is, it is difficult to see. So it is a bit annoying. But then grab that. Just come around here. Spider remy up this wall. Um, like this or so, so that you're at the center of these window things sticking out. This is not precise at all. You just don't want to go too high. Because the next thing we're going to do is... Oh, we're getting the first person camera glitch. That's cool. All right. So then you're going to want to come to this wall here. Slowly spider me up. You have to be careful here. This is one of the scarier parts of the trick. Until you're more or less aligned with this cross in the vent here. So you can see that there's that cross in the vent. Um, you're going to want to spider Remy up until Remy's more or less equal with that height. And you want to err on being on the low side of that. So once you get at this height, walk straight out this way. Apologies for the camera being weird. That's what happens when you go into first person mode when you have spider Remy active. So you just want to go and walk straight out here. Make sure you're lined up with this vent as nice as possible. Because if you accidentally walk under one of the edges of the vent, you could have warp. And in my experience, there's not a great backup. It is possible to down warp again, but it's very finicky and hard to do. So my advice is just walk way out into the void, line it up very carefully, and make sure that you walk directly under the vent. So once you get under the vent, um, you can just walk under the slope section, start spamming, jump, and moving backwards, and you should eventually clip through. So sometimes you accidentally down warp like this. You can actually grab the recipe. So let me show you. You can actually grab the re recipe directly from down here as well sometimes. So sometimes, sometimes this isn't quite recoverable like this. And if this happens where like you're just not getting it, um, it's really easy to regain spider remy here. So just yeah. So I think I'm a little too low now. So just get spider remy back on one of these seams, which is not hard to do. All this and I there we go. So we actually ended up getting it through the vent. So that was actually a pretty slow way of doing that. Normally it isn't that difficult, but. If it's like really, really not, so we see we got it there as well. All this and I can cook. So it's it's on the left side of this vent here, more or less, somewhere around here. But yeah, normally what you want to do is actually clip through and then get the recipe. But there's this also works. Um, so again, you can just if you're too low, you don't know what to do, just get spider me again. Come back over here, very, very gently inch up a tiny bit, very little, just, just that much. That might be too high, but I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, unfortunately that was too high, so I didn't follow my own judgment there. It is possible to down warp and save this um, on some of the edges of this vent here, but it's it's very inconsistent getting a down warp here. So, like you can sometimes get a slow fall in this direction. You go far enough, but sometimes you just down warp and end up way too low again. Uh, so just don't go too high there because there is not a great backup if you go too high. But as long as you just err on being on the low side of that vent, you should be all right. Um, and there's probably a good way of down warping somehow, but I haven't found it yet. But yeah, um, that's this strat more or less. You just want to get spider me go under this vent and warp up into it. Just be careful with how high you go. Um, and you should be fine. Just you'll either clip through the vent or just collect the recipe directly through the bottom of the vent. Either way works. But yeah, um, that's that's four six. Um, I don't think there's any one part of it that's especially difficult, but it, there obviously is. 
a lot of moving parts and a lot of places where things could go wrong. So my advice is just take your time. Don't try to be cute and cut corners or do things fast. Make sure you're not going too high in the places you don't need to go too high and all that. And you should be fine. Just just take it easy, go slow, and you should be fine with this head of bounce. Actually, is this... No, you, you do up warp a little bit there. Anyway, um, that's it for me. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you many Ratatouille PSPs in the future. Peace out.